In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit with straight needles this beautiful little cardigan sweater for baby boys and girls between zero and three months. Now you can easily make it smaller from a newborn baby and bigger up to 12 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Thanks for your support. Now let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Okay, to knit this little sweater, I'll be using these three millimeter knitting needles. I'm going to use circular needles. These are 32 inch. Now you can also use straight needles. Also the yarn that I'm going to be using is this light number three yarn. You can also use any DK weight yarn or a ply. So here, to begin, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on a total of 69 stitches. So I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. With both needles like this, we're going to wrap the yarn around 20 times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we have enough yarn here for about 20 stitches. We're going to double it up. We have enough for 40 double it up again we have enough for 60 double it up again we have enough for 80. now i'm going to add a little bit more it's best to have some left than have to redo this again so right here make a slip knot insert both needles through this loop here now this yarn is coming from the one that we just measured and this here is coming from the skein we're going to cast on a total of 69 stitches like i said so to do this open the yarn like this we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this that's two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and so on you're going to continue like this until you have 69 stitches continue and i'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next okay i finished casting on my stitches i have 69 this is the yarn that i had left over so here at the end we're just going to tie a knot right there now pull one of the needles carefully Now, to begin in this first row, I'm going to slip the first stitch. Now, the next stitch, I'm going to knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. We're going to knit one, purl one, all the way to the end. Continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do. And remember, all we're doing is knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way to the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. Now this stitch here I knit, the last stitch I'm going to purl. Now turn for the second row. Now in this second row, I'm going to slip the first stitch. Then I'm going to purl knit purl knit and purl this is how i'm going to continue for this second row knit one purl one continue to the end of this second row i'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of the second row this stitch here is a purl now the last stitch i'm also going to purl here at the end we're going to finish with two purls now turn for the third row. Now in this third row, we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit the second stitch. Then purl, knit, purl, knit, 
and purl. Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the third row. This stitch here I knit. Now the last stitch I'm going to purl. Now turn for the fourth row. Now in this fourth row, same thing. We're going to slip the first stitch, purl the next stitch, knit, purl, knit and purl from here on. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This stitch here is a purl, so the last stitch, purl again. And here's the fourth row. Now, in these last four rows, we knit and purled one. Now, for rows five and six, this is what we're going to do. Same thing, we're going to slip the first stitch here at the beginning, and we're going to knit across like this. We're going to knit the knit stitches and we're going to knit also the purl stitches. This is how we're going to do row five. Continue to the end of this fifth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. This stitch here I knit. Now the last stitch we always purl. Now turn for the sixth row. Now in this sixth row, from here on these five stitches, I'm always going to knit. This is going to be the button band. So we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to purl each one of these stitches until we come to the last five stitches. So purl the stitches in between here until you come to the last five stitches. I will meet you here at the end of this sixth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the sixth row. Now here at the end, I knit four, purl the last stitch, and I put my stitch marker here as well. Now we're going to turn, and now we're going to begin our pattern. Now this pattern consists of six rows. So each repeat is going to consist of six rows. So this is going to be the first row to the first repeat. So to do this, I've written down here the rows uh, to make it easier for you all if you want to screenshot that. Um, the first row, this is how we're going to do it. This is going to be on the right side. So we're on the right side. And at the end of this row here, I'm going to add a buttonhole. So I'm going to slip the first stitch. This part here is the same. I didn't write this part. I only wrote um, the part that's in the center between these stitch markers. So knit these four stitches. Pass your stitch marker. And now we're going to start our pattern. It says knit one yarn over, knit one yarn over, purl one. So we're going to, let's see, knit one yarn over, knit one yarn over, knit one, purl one. This is your repeat. And then again, you're going to do the same thing. Knit one yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one. There's the second repeat. And then again, you're going to do knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one. Now you're going to do this to the end here. The last stitch here, right before the stitch marker, this one here, this is going to be a knit stitch. So actually I'm going to meet you eight stitches before we finish, so five plus three, so these three stitches here, before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this first row to the first repeat. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row to the first repeat. I have eight stitches left. I have five here and then three here. So these three stitches here, I am going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. Now pass your stitch marker and here we're going to make our buttonhole. So we're going to knit one, knit one, actually knit two. Now yarn over, knit two together. And then purl the last stitch. 
And here's the first row to the first repeat. We added a buttonhole. Now, at the end of this first row, you should have 99 stitches. At the end of every row for the next six rows, which is the first repeat, you're going to have 99 stitches. Turn for the second row here, and we are going to slip the first stitch. This part here is the same. We're going to knit four. The yarn over here that we did, which is the buttonhole, you can knit through the front and it's going to leave a big hole here. And I don't want that. So I want a tiny little hole so that I can put some tiny little buttons. So I'm going to knit through the back like this. So make sure that you knit the yarn over through the back so that there's no big hole or anything. So there, and then knit these next two. Now pass your stitch marker. Now for these stitches here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to purl five, knit one all the way to the end here. So let me show you. You're going to purl five, one, two, three, four, five, knit one, and then purl five again. One, two, three, four, five, knit one. And this is all you're going to do to the end of this second row to this first repeat. I'm here at the end of this second row to the first repeat. Now these last five stitches here, you just purl five. Now pass your stitch marker, and here we're going to knit four, one, two, three, four, purl one. And here is the second row to the first repeat with 99 stitches as well. Now turn for the third row. In the third row, we're going to knit five, purl one. But first, we gotta do this part here. So slip the first stitch and knit four. Pass your stitch marker and here, third row, knit five, purl one. So knit five, that's two, three, four, five, purl one, knit five, purl one. Continue like this to the end of this third row to the first repeat. I will meet you here at the end of this row to show you the fourth row. I finished the third row to the first repeat. I have 99 stitches as well. Now turn for the fourth row. And in the fourth row, we're going to purl five, knit one. So this fourth row is on the wrong side. So you're going to slip the first stitch here and we're going to knit four. This part here is the same, always. Okay, pass your stitch marker, and we're going to purl five. One, two, three, four, five, knit one. Purl five, knit one. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row to the first repeat and I will meet you there to show you what we need to do. I'm here at the end of this fourth row to the first repeat. Now here at the end, you know, knit four, purl one. Turn for the fifth row. Now in the fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the third row, knit five, purl one. But first, remember, we got to do this part here. Slip the first stitch and knit four. Oops. Pass your stitch marker. And here we're going to knit five, one, two, three, four, five, purl one. And then again, knit five, purl one, all the way to the end. I will meet you at the end of this fifth row 
to the first repeat to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the fifth row to the first repeat. I just want to show you something here at the end. I want you to be careful when you do the last repeat here. In the last repeat, you do not purl one because one thing, there is no more stitches, so there's no, um, no stitch for you to purl. So always you're only going to knit five or purl five if you're on this other side. So I just thought I showed you that. I know in the original pattern, many were getting confused as far um, as you know doing this part. That's why I decided to write it down. And although I do have a purl one here at the end, as you can see, you only have five stitches left, so you will end with a knit five. So now here, you know this part, knit four, purl one. Now turn for the sixth row, and in the sixth row we need to purl five, knit one. But first we gotta do this part here. So slip the first stitch and knit four. Pass your stitch marker, we're on the wrong side, so you know you have to purl five. One, two, three, four, five, knit one and then again purl five continue like this to the end of this sixth row of this first repeat to show you the second repeat okay i finished the sixth row to the first repeat at the end of that sixth row i also had 99 stitches remember that at the end of every row for the first repeat these six rows here you should always end with 99 stitches. Now we're going to start the first row to the second repeat. So this part here is the same. We slip the first stitch here and we are going to knit four. One, two, three, four. Slip your stitch marker. Now in this row to start the first repeat, we're going to knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, purl one. So here we're going to knit two, one and two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, purl one. Again, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, two, purl one. And this is all you're going to do to the end here. Your last repeat is going to be knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two. We're not going to purl one at the end. I will meet you right here. Let's see, uh, two, four, five stitches before we finish, before the stitch marker, to show you how we're going to finish this first row to the second repeat. I'm here at the end of this first row to the second repeat. I have five stitches before the stitch marker. Now here at the end, you're going to knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then knit two. Now pass your stitch marker, and here we're going to knit four, purl one. And here is the first row to the second repeat. You should have a total of 129 stitches. Remember, at the end of every row for the second repeat, for the next six rows, you're going to have 129 stitches. Now we're going to turn for the second row to the second repeat. Now this part here, we slip the first stitch and knit four. Oops. One, two, three, Four, pass your stitch marker and here in the second row we're going to purl seven knit one so purl one two three four five six seven knit one and then again purl seven knit one purl seven knit one Continue like this to the end of this second row to the second repeat, and I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the second row to the second repeat. Now we're going to turn here for the third row, and this part here, it's the same. Slip the first stitch and then knit four. One, 
two, three, four, pass your stitch marker. Now in this third row, we need to knit seven, purl one. I'm going to show you this row only, and then you're going to do row four, five, and six. So I'll tell you what you need to do at the end of this row. So here you're going to knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then purl one. And then again, knit seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, purl one. And then you're going to repeat the same thing, knit seven, purl one. This is the right side. So continue, finish this row, then you're going to turn this part here's the same, slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to do purl seven, knit one for the fourth row. And then you're going to turn, slip the first stitch, knit four for the fifth row, and then you're going to knit seven, purl one. And then on the sixth row, purl seven, knit one. So you're going to finish the third and then fourth, fifth, and sixth row. I will meet you once this second repeat is done to show you the third repeat. I finished rows three, four, five, and six of the second repeat. So now what we're going to do is the third repeat. And at the end here of this third repeat, we're going to add our second buttonhole. So to do this, same thing here, we slip the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker. Now in this third repeat, the first row we need to knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, purl one. So let's do this. We're going to knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, purl one. This is what you're going to continue with. Now again, knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, purl one. Continue like this to the end of this first row to the third repeat. I will meet you at the end here to show you how we're going to do the second buttonhole. I'm here at the end of this first row to the third repeat. Now here at the end, remember we're going to make our second buttonhole. So knit two, yarn over, and then knit two together through the back. And purl the last stitch. And here's our second buttonhole. Now turn for the second row to the third repeat. Same thing, slip the first stitch here, and we're going to knit for the yarn over that we did in the previous row, make sure that you knit through the back. Pass your stitch marker, and then in this second row, we're going to purl nine, knit one. So you're going to purl nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, knit one. And then again, repeat the same thing. Purl nine, knit one, all the way to the end. I will meet you at the end of this second row to the third repeat to show you what we need to do next. One thing, at the end of each one of these six rows, you're going to have 159 stitches. So at the end of the first row to the third repeat, I had 159 stitches and you're going to have the same for the next six rows. Continue, finish this second row, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the second row to the third repeat. At the end of that row, I had 159 stitches. Now for the third row to the third repeat, slip the first stitch, knit four, Pass your stitch marker. Now, for this third row, we're going to knit nine, purl one. So knit nine, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then purl one. And then again, you're going to knit nine, purl one, all the way to the end. Now, you're going to complete the third row, which is knit nine, purl one, and then you're going to turn, and then you're going to purl nine, knit one for the fourth row. The fifth row, you're going to knit nine, purl one, and then the sixth row, purl nine, knit one. Continue, finish these four rows to complete the third repeat, and then I'll come back and show you the fourth repeat. Okay, I finished the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth row of the third repeat. Now we're going to start on the fourth repeat. So to do the fourth repeat, this part here is the same. Slip the first stitch and knit four. Pass your stitch marker. Now for the first row of the fourth repeat, we're going to knit four, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four, purl one. So knit four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four. Purl one. And then again, you're going to knit four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four. And then purl one. Continue like this to the end of this first row to this fourth repeat. I will meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the first row to the fourth repeat. At the end of this row, I have 189 stitches. Now you're going to have 189 stitches for this fourth repeat. Now we're going to turn for the second row. Here, I'm only going to show you the second row and then you're going to continue and do the rest on your own. So slip the first stitch. This here is the wrong side, so it's the second row. And then knit four. Pass your stitch marker. Now in this second row to the fourth repeat, we're going to purl 11, knit one. So purl 11, one. Eleven, and then knit one. And then again, you're going to repeat purl 11, knit one, all the way to the end. Now. For the third row, you're going to turn at the end of the second row. So for the third row, you're going to knit 11, purl 1. Then you're going to turn for the fourth row, and you're going to purl 11, knit 1, which is the same thing we're doing here in this second row. And then you're going to knit 11, purl 1 for the fifth row, and then turn for the sixth row, purl 11, knit 1. So continue, finish the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth row, of this fourth repeat and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the fourth repeat. At the end of this last row of this repeat, I have 189 stitches. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to divide uh, for the sleeves and the back side. So here, I placed some stitch markers. I have for each one of the front panels, I have 28 stitches. So 28 here and 28 here. These stitch markers are the uh, stitches here for the button panels. Now, for each one of the sleeves, I'm going to have 38 and 38 and for the back side i'm going to have 57 stitches now i'm going to make this little sweater in one piece that means that i'm not going to uh, remove stitches or anything i'm just going to go ahead and knit these 28 stitches and then we're going to knit the next 38 and then we're going to work the sleeve first that way you can make this little sweater using straight needles um, which is a request that i've had uh, with many of my little sweaters here so we're going to do this and actually i like this technique because 
once it's done we don't have to cut the yarn or anything i'll show you a technique of how we're going to seam the sleeves once they're done and that way we don't have to cut the yarn so we're going to knit these 28 stitches here and then we're going to knit the 38 so let me start you off here in this first row so we're going to start counting rows that way i can tell you and it's much easier to count rows from here on so that's let's see three four five now pass your stitch marker now we're going to knit See, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, the stitch where we were purling, then we're going to knit from here on. You can continue and purl if you like, but I'm not. So, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Now pass your stitch marker and now we're going to knit these 38 stitches for the sleeve. This is going to be the first row to the sleeve here. So knit the purl stitch and then knit until you have these 38 stitches. Continue, I will meet you right here to show you the second row to the sleeve. Okay, I finished knitting these 38 stitches for the first sleeve, and then we also knit these 28 stitches for the front panel. Now, we're going to turn. From here on, we're going to just work these 38 stitches we're going to make the sleeve first like i said so that you can make this little sweater using straight needles now slip the first stitch and then we're going to purl like this remember to always slip the first stitch and purl here's the last stitch now this completes the second row now we're going to turn here for the third row i'm going to put a stitch marker here to mark the first row so right here that way i can count how many rows i'm going to do for the sleeve now for the third row here remember to slip the first stitch like this and then you're going to knit across to the last stitch where you're going to purl now in the first row i forgot to purl the last stitch i knit but that's okay if you haven't started make sure you purl the last stitch Okay, so here's the last stitch. This one here, purl. And then turn for the fourth row. You can remove the stitch marker if you like. From here on, you know that we're only going to work these 38 stitches. Now I'll slip the first stitch here like this, and then you're going to purl across to the last stitch, then you're going to turn, slip the first stitch, and then knit across to the last stitch. On the right side, remember to purl the last stitch. And then repeat the same thing over and over uh, for a total of 26 rows using these three millimeter kneading needles. Then we're going to switch for a total of 16 rows and we're going to do those 16 rows with 2.75 or 2.5 millimeter uh, needles that way we shape a little bit the end of the sleeve you don't have to but I like to do it so continue finish this row and then um, I'll come back and show you here's the other little sweater that I did um, we're going to do let's see like I said a total of 
uh, 26 rows and then we're going to switch and make 16 rows with a slightly smaller kneading needles I'll show you that continue watching and then we're going to finish here with the cuff so our little sleeve is going to look something like this so continue finish these 26 rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making these 26 rows using the three millimeter kneading needles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to slightly smaller kneading needles. I'm going to be using these 2.75. If you don't have 2.75, you can also use 2.5. So all we're going to do here for a total of 16 rows is the same thing. We're going to slip the first stitch and then you're going to knit the next and so on. This is how you're going to continue. It's basically the same thing. All you, all we're doing here is just switching to slightly smaller kneading needles to shape the bottom of the sleeve here. And it's optional. If you don't want to switch to slightly smaller kneading needles, then you can by all means continue with the same needle size. Now, continue like this. Let's finish these 16 rows. I'm going to put a stitch marker here to mark the first row. And then I'll meet you once these 16 rows are done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 16 rows here using the 2.75 millimeter kneading needles. In total, from here up to here, I have 42 rows. So 26 rows here plus 16, that's 42 rows. Now, what we're going to do is the cuff this part here and we're going to do it where we do knit one purl one knit one purl one and we're going to do a total of eight rows now to do this same thing we're going to slip the first stitch and then we're going to knit the next purl one knit one purl one knit one i'm going to continue like this to the end of this first row Okay, these are my last two stitches. This here is a knit. So here at the end, I'm going to purl this stitch and I'm going to knit the last stitch. Now we're going to turn here, bring the yarn in front, slip the first stitch through the back here like this. And we're going to knit the next stitch Curl the next. You're going to do the same thing. So here are my last two stitches. Purl this stitch and the last stitch here. Purl. So here on the wrong side, you're going to finish with two purl stitches because the first stitch we slipped in the first row. Now turn for the third row and here you're going to do the same thing we did on the first row. You're going to slip the first stitch here and knit the next stitch. Purl, knit, purl, knit. Continue like this and finish this third row and then continue on until you have a total of eight rows here. So I will meet you back once the cuff is done to show you how we're going to cast off our stitches and finish the sleeve. Okay, I finished making these eight rows here for the cuff. Now we're going to turn and in this ninth row, we're going to cast off our stitches here to finish the sleeve. Now, if you want to make the sleeve longer, you can, you can just continue and make more rows in the same way we did here. Now to cast off our stitches, slip the first stitch, knit the next stitch. Now bring the first stitch over the second stitch. Now purl the next stitch, bring the first stitch over the second. Knit the next stitch, bring the first stitch over the second. Purl the next stitch, bring the first stitch over the second and so on. This is how we're going to cast off our stitches here and finish the, the sleeve. So continue, let's finish this part here and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished casting off all of my stitches. I finished making the cuff and the sleeve is all done. That's what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do is, I don't want to cut my yarn, but I'm going to show you a way how we're going to seam this here without cutting the yarn. If you have a hard time and you don't know how to use a crochet hook, because this is how we're going to close this here, then you can cut your yarn, turn this over like this, and then seam with a whip stitch or any other um, method to seam this part here and close it and then you're going to have to attach the yarn here under the sleeve but i'm going to show you a way as i mentioned at the beginning of the video of how we're going to close this part here without having to cut the yarn and then we're going to continue on with the back side of the sweater so to do this this is where i finished here's my last stitch i'm going to insert my hook this is a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook i recommend that you use um, a slightly uh, bigger hook size that's why I'm using this 3.5 millimeter hook so insert your hook here into the first stitch this is the first stitch that we cast off so right there right here along the very edge when we were slipping the first stitch it creates this little chain here along the edge and you can see it here on this side and you can see it here on this other side so that's where I'm going to be inserting my hook to make these slip stitches to join here and um, close the sleeve. So to start here, I've inserted my hook here into the first stitch. Now, this is the first stitch here for the last row that we did, the row where we um, cast off our stitches. So bring this loop through the front here like this. And now we're going to go through the next row. So right here, find the next V stitch here along the very edge, right there, and along the next row here, along the very edge. So right there, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now into the next row, right there along the very edge, and into the next row, right here, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Even if you've never touched a crochet hook, I think you can do this. Just uh, make sure you have lots of patience and take your time there see into the next row same thing right there make sure you go through both loops this V stitch here along the very edge this is the stitch where we slipped has two loops one and two so make sure you go through both here on this side and make sure you go through both here on this side as well and then make a slip stitch into the next row and through the next row a slip stitch and make sure that you're doing this on the wrong side because if you're doing this on the right side then this here is going to show also make sure that these slip stitches are nice and loose if you notice is this part here um, there's no give and it's too stiff then go ahead and use a slightly bigger crochet hook we want this here to be nice and flexible and not too rigid so this is how I'm going to continue making slip stitches until I come here to the last row so right here where I have my stitch marker that was the first row that I did I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to continue along the back side okay I finished closing this part here that's what it looks like on the wrong side here's my last row now we can turn this over so that I can show you what it looks like that's what it looks like here on the right side and here's a little sleeve, it's so cute. Now, what we're going to do is, this is the right side. We finished here. This is the front panel. So now, what I'm going to do is, here's my last stitch. Here's the loop that I had left after making the last slip stitch. Now, we're going to put it on this needle here, and we're going to pull our yarn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra stitch. You can see this row. This is the row where we were purling the stitch um, on the right side. So right next to it, there's this stitch right there. So insert your needle there and grab a loop. So now here under the sleeve, I've added two extra stitches. Now to continue, we're just going to knit the stitches for the back side like this. 
until we come to the next group of stitches for the second sleep. Continue working these stitches for the back side until you come to the next stitch marker. Okay, I finished the back side. I have 57 stitches here for the back side. Now we have the stitches here for the sleeve. So I'm going to pass my stitch marker here and now I'm going to knit the first row here for the sleeve. And we're going to do the same thing we did here. We're going to work on the second sleeve now. For the sleeve, we have a total of 38 stitches. So pass your stitch marker and knit these 38 stitches. Remember the stitch here that we were purling on the right side now I'm going to knit I'm not going to continue with the pattern so make sure you knit all of these stitches until you come to the last stitch here's the last stitch I'm going to knit the last stitch. Now leave these stitches here for the uh, front panel. And now we're just going to turn here and make the sleeve. So for the second row here for the sleeve, we turned. Now here I'm going to slip the stitch here like this. I know in the first row I showed you that you have to here in the first row for the sleeve, I showed you that the last stitch here, you could purl on this side and then slip the first stitch like this. But I actually like the way that this looks when you knit the last stitch and then slip the first stitch through the back like this. And that also creates that nice V stitch along the very edge so that it's easy to seam. So I'm going to show you this way. You can do it either way. All of these stitches here, I'm going to purl Here's the last stitch, purl, here's my stitch marker. So I need to turn here and continue with the third row for this leaf. Before I continue, I'm going to put a stitch marker here. Now slip the first stitch like this and then knit across to the last stitch. Here's the last stitch. Make sure that you knit as well. Turn. Slip the first stitch through the back leg and that creates that nice V stitch there along the edge and then purl across to the last stitch and then you're going to do the same thing we just did in the third row and then continue like this and repeat these two rows until you have the 26 rows here for the sleeves so about this long and then you're going to switch to slightly smaller knitting needles I used 2.75 and I did a total of 16 rows and then you're going to do the cuff with those same needles and you're going to do a total of eight rows and then in the ninth row you're going to cast off your stitches just like we did here for this sleeve so make sure to do that finish this second sleeve and then I'll come back and show you again how to seam um, the sleeve and then continue on and finish this first row for the body so continue let's do the second sleeve and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished making the second sleeve this is what it looks like now what we're going to do is we're going to close here without cutting the yarn so I'm going to show you again so we're going to go right here into this first stitch right there this is the first stitch that we closed so insert your hook there I'm using the 3.5 millimeter hook grab this loop bring it through the front and now we're going to go row by row right along the very edge. So we're going to go into the next row right here and in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. 
Make sure these stitches are nice and loose. Then continue into the next row. Grab a loop. Make a slip stitch. Into the next row. Make sure that these rows correspond. That way you don't end up with uh, more stitches at the bottom. And into the next row. Same thing. Grab a loop and make a slip stitch. And this is how I'm going to close here until I come here to the end. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to continue and finish this first row of the body. Okay, I finished closing here my sleeve. This is what it looks like here on the wrong side. Now we're going to turn this over like this. This is what it looks like on the right side. Now we're going to go here under the sleeve and we're going to continue with this first row for the body. So remember that in the first row, we have done the first sleeve and now the second. So now we're going to continue on and finish here this row. And at the end here, we're going to add a buttonhole. So let's find the last loop here for when we were closing here the sleeve. So put it on this needle. Now we're going to pick up an extra stitch. So I'm just going to go right here into this row right there and pick up a stitch there. Now we're just going to continue and knit these 28 stitches for this front panel. So continue, I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished these 28 stitches for the second panel. We're almost done with this first row here. Now we have the last five stitches here at the end. I'm going to add my third buttonhole. Let's see. One, two, three. Yes, this is the third buttonhole. So uh, we're going to knit two, yarn over, then knit two together through the back, and then purl the last stitch. Now we're going to turn now at the end of this first row where we have divided the sleeve and we have made both sleeves, I have a total of 117 stitches. So now for the second row here, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to slip the first stitch, then I'm going to knit for the uh, yarn over that I did for the buttonhole. I'm going to knit this through the back. That's three, four, five, pass your stitch marker, and now I'm just going to uh, purl across. From here on, we're going to work the body, and we're going to continue and work these 117 stitches. Remember that each one of the front panels has 28 and 28, plus 57 for the back side, plus the two extra stitches that we added under the sleeves. That's a total of 117 stitches from here on. Here I'm going to show you what you need to do where we added the two extra stitches under the sleeve. All you do is just knit. Here's one and here's two. And you're just going to continue on and finish this second row. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the second row. At the end of that row, I have 117 stitches. Now from here on, we're just going to continue and do the same thing we did here for the sleeves. We're going to knit on the right side and we're going to purl on the wrong side. Now these stitches here along the sides, they always remain the same. So this is how we're going to continue from here on for the body of the little sweater. And we're always going to have 117 stitches. Now don't forget to add your button holes. Make sure that you're adding them every 12th row or however many rows you want to add in between each buttonhole. I'm doing mine every 12th row. And that's all we're going to do from here on for the body of the little sweater. So continue for a total of 44 rows and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. 
Okay, I'm almost done with this part. So far, I have a total of 44 rows for the bottom part of the little sweater. Let me show you. So from here, where we added the third buttonhole, where we divided everything, we did the sleeve and everything, I have a total of 44 rows. So from here up to here, there's 44 rows. I'm about to add my seventh buttonhole. Now, we need to start to work the bottom part of the little sweater just like i did with this one here so i'm at this point right now i've made eight rows so we're going to do these next four rows where we knit one pro one knit one pro one and i'm going to keep this part here of the front panel in the same way where we knit these five stitches now if you're off by one or two rows three four it's okay as long as you like the way that it looks it's all okay so here we're going to do this next row now this part here like i said i'm going to keep the same so i'm going to slip the first stitch knit four stitches now we're going to pass our stitch marker and then from here we're going to knit one purl one knit one purl one so knit one purl one knit Purl, knit and purl. Continue like this. I will meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this first row of knit one, purl one. Now, this stitch before the stitch marker was a knit for me, and then I knit four and then purl the last stitch. Now, for the second row, we're going to turn, we're going to slip the first stitch, and I'm going to knit four. Now pass your stitch marker. Now my last stitch here before the stitch marker on the first row was a knit. So now in this row on this side, the wrong side, I'm going to purl. Knit to the next, purl. Knit, purl. So here you're just doing the opposite. In the previous row I had a knit, so in the next row I purl and so on. So this is how we're going to do this bottom part. I'm going to do a total of four rows here, and then I'm going to add my seventh buttonhole at the end of the fourth row. So continue, let's do these four rows, and then I'm going to come back and show you how I'm going to do the last buttonhole here, and then uh, we're going to continue and finish the rest. Okay, I did these four rows of knit one, purl one. Now here at the end of the fourth row, we're going to add our seventh buttonhole. So here to do this, I'm going to knit two, I'm going to yarn over, knit two together, and then purl the last stitch. Now turn, and here I'm going to slip the first stitch, knit four. This yarn over here I'm going to knit through the back because I don't want a big hole. And then knit two more. Pass your stitch marker and here we're just going to continue with the same thing. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Now from here on, we're just going to continue knit one, purl one for the next four rows. I think I'm only going to do eight rows instead of nine. As I mentioned, in the ninth row, we're going to cast off our stitches. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of the eighth row. Okay, I finished making this part here at the bottom. I have done a total of eight rows here for this part. So in this ninth row, I'm going to go ahead and cast off my stitches. So to do this, I'm going to slip the first stitch, then knit the next stitch, pass the first stitch over the second. Again, knit the next, pass the first over the second. This is how I'm going to do this part here. There. Now, 
remove your stitch marker we don't need it anymore this next stitch here is a knit so we're going to knit now bring the first stitch over the second the next stitch is a purl we're going to purl so bring the first stitch over the second and so on so you're going to knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches and then do what I'm doing here next one here is purl so pass the first stitch over the second and so on that's how we're going to continue here casting off our stitches so continue finish this part and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished casting off my stitches. Okay, I finished casting off all of my stitches. This is what it looks like. Now you can leave the little sweater like this, but what I'm going to do here all around is I'm going to use this crochet hook and just do single crochets all around so that it looks like this. Here I did it on the wrong side because it ended on the wrong side. So this one here, I decided to end on the right side. That way I can continue along the edge here and do single crochets. So it's optional if you want to just cut your yarn here and leave it like this that's up to you so if you want to do it like me this is what we're going to do don't cut your yarn here's my last stitch here you're going to chain one and again I'm using this three millimeter hook now into this last stitch here that you see we're going to make a single crochet into the next row here insert your hook grab a loop and make a single crochet insert your hook again into the next stitch single crochet i'm just going along the very edge here into the stitches that we were um, slipping at the end of every row and that's where i'm inserting my hook to make these single crochets so like this and that's what it looks like see the finish here is a lot nicer and nice and straight so i'm going to go ahead and do that all around i'm going to do this front panel and then i'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the neckline and then we're going to work our way down and do single crochets along the other front panels i finished making these single crochets along this first front panel now make sure that when you do these single crochets they're nice and loose so that this part here remains nice and straight so now what we're going to do here around the neckline is the same thing here into this last corner stitch i made my i made one single crochet i'm going to make two more so that i can easily turn now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in between the rows. Here's the row of knits and then the next row is a row of pearls. Knits, pearl, knits, pearl. I'm going to insert my hook into the pearl row right along the very edge. You'll see it there and make single crochets. Now again, make sure that these single crochets are nice and loose. Again, you can always use a slightly bigger hook to work this part. I'm making my nice and loose. So this is how I'm going to continue all around the neckline and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to continue here. When I come to the last stitch right here, I'm going to make three single crochets into the very last stitch and then continue along the front panel. I'm going to make sure to have the same number of single crochets that I did here on this side. I'm going to do here on this side so that it's all equal. Continue, I'll meet you here at the end once this part here is done to show you the finished baby sweater. Okay, I finished making this row of single crochets. Here at the end, I did my last single crochet. I cut my yarn and then I passed my yarn through that last loop and then I just hid my ends here on the inside. I also went ahead and added my buttons. I went ahead and used, let's see, two, four, six, seven buttons. These buttons here are 12 millimeter size and the little sweater is all done and this is how it looks. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this cotton yarn here. It's absolutely beautiful now let me give you the finished measurements now from the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve here it's measuring about 24 centimeters which is about 9.5 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 13 centimeters which is about 5.25 inches now the length from the top of the neckline to the end of the last row here at the bottom it's measuring about 
25 centimeters, which is about 9.75 inches. Now this measurement here right across, it's about 10.5 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. And the chest, just the top, it's measuring about 21.5 centimeters, which is about 8.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little sweater is for boys and girls between zero and three months. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from a newborn baby and up to 12 months. Now remember that I already have a tutorial for a larger size. I'll go ahead and leave the link to the tutorial in the information box. Now it's all done. Here's another little jacket that I did. Look how cute this looks. I did it using the same yarn with a different color here. It's absolutely beautiful and perfect for a zero to three month baby. Just like you all been asking, you wanted me to show you how to make this little sweater using straight needles. Uh, the other version uh, that I just mentioned is uh, done with circular needles because the sleeves are done in the round. Now make sure to also comment below and let me know if you want me to make any other sizes using straight needles. I'll gladly go ahead and do that. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.